Hello everyone, I'm Indra, a doctoral student at Shizuoka University, Japan, and I'll be presenting my work on electronic design automation using deep learning. Electronic design automation refers to the tools for design and analysis of electronic systems such as ICs and PCBs. With the rise in need for high-performance circuits, there's a strong demand for EDA. However, common problems with EDA tools are due to high dimensionality, high nonlinearity, and discontinuity of the problem. Deep learning for EDA has led to significant improvements in solution quality and speeding up the process. The focus of my research so far has been on optimization algorithms for training deep neural networks. Gradient-based algorithms are popular for training deep neural networks and can be classified into first and second order methods. The first order methods are simple and have low computational complexity, but show slow convergence in highly nonlinear problems. On the other hand, despite the high computational cost, second order methods show faster convergence. The focus of my research is on the Nestrov's accelerated quasi-Newton method to further accelerate convergence speed while maintaining a low computational cost. On the application front, I focus on electronic design automation to provide faster and reliable solutions using deep learning. In the coming slides, I'll briefly skim through some of the results of my work so far. Electromagnetic modeling is a highly nonlinear problem and takes about several hours to days to get the exact solution. Also, the original model is computationally expensive to obtain. In this work, we have proposed modified Nestrov's accelerated method for training neural networks, and here the results in modeling a low-pass filter are shown. Compared to the popular first-order methods, we can see that the proposed MNAC method has faster convergence. Further, the results of the neural network model trained with MNAC is in good correlation with the original model. Analog circuit design optimization is complex mainly due to the large search space and complex relations that exist between the design parameters and the circuit performances. In this work, we take an example of a two-stage op-amp that has eight MOS transistors and a coupling capacitor whose optimum parameters for the desired design specification is obtained using the DNN model. Our proposed AMNAC and MNAC methods show lower performance errors compared to the other methods. One of the major challenges in supervised learning is the availability of label dataset. So my current work on physical design automation focuses on a deep reinforcement learning framework for placement and routing, the two core tasks in synthesis and design. As a preliminary work, a deep RL framework with double DQNs trained using an adaptive stochastic NAC method was proposed for global routing of two pin nets. The results show promising scope compared to the conventional A-star path search method and DRL models trained with popular first order methods. In the future, I intend to work towards building a robust RL framework that can give faster and reliable placement and routing solutions for larger necklaces. Thank you.